not precisely what I am saying, sir. What are you saying precisely? Sir, I heard your voice off. I rushed to stop the fight. Marian, you always have good reason to intrude into our meetings. Anyway, keep standing. <laughs> sir, I will use this opportunity to try a question on Marian. I did not rush in here to answer questions. Well, you are already here, so you must answer. Marian, between the fruit of the womb and the money, what will you choose? Sir, should I answer? You have the choice. Don't ask me anything. Well, I will choose a husband. A husband who has a good salary, a car and a house. Marian, you have not answered my question. But that answer disqualifies both of us. The both of us are who and who to come. You and me, sir, you have a car, you have a good salary. But you don't have a house, it's for me. Son is stupid. Do you think her choice is limited to this office? Sir, I'm sorry. I want to limit my choice to this table. You people should build houses. You are sitting here that what will be eaten in this house today? Are you talking to me? Am I your cook? I'm your cook. But there is no food in this house today. Look at how you have illegally created a place for yourself in this house. I usefully become your servant, Holy One. My mother left the deep freezer and all the refrigerators full. Most of them are full, Holy One. With bottles of things I don't know. Basic things like chicken, meat, fruit, and other useful things are not there. Why are you turning everything into problems? A.K. It's not me. There are no provisions in this house, and that's the fact. Maybe I should bring one fish and you bless it into many fishes like Jesus did in the Bible. Stop provoking me. I am not Jesus Christ. How many times should I tell you that? Holiness equal to holiness. Power to power. I have to serve you breakfast. Look here, my dear friend. I don't deal in such material things. In the absence of my mother, the people of all ventures will know what to do. Holy Spirit! So you have to depend on the people of all ventures, even for breakfast? Wonderful! I am not the Holy Spirit. Do I know the difference between Holy Spirit or spirit things? All I know is that you are hungry. I am not hungry. You are hungry! Professor, don't have me here. My young man, where is the beautiful woman that lives here? The woman you serve. Sir, so you discriminate in your intelligence. How is a woman beautiful? Answer my question, young man. I don't want to get into any discourse with the lowly servant. There you go again with discrimination. What do you mean by lowly servant? I mean you. Did my intelligence invent discrimination? It started at a divine level. Are you understanding me? Sir, go ahead. I shall understand you. God created some people intelligent like me. Some people beautiful like the woman you serve. And some people just in a way like you. Just in a way like me. Professor, have you ever imagined that somebody could slap you for being intelligent? As an intelligent man, I expect everything from good. If civilized countries like France and America can go to war for oil and timber. Why should a fool not slap a genius? But, by the way, tell me, what inspired that question? Holy one, what is happening here? I'm first have to pay back. I am not talking to you, madam. I'm answering your question. You can all see for yourselves. This woman, whosoever she is, is becoming a dictator in my own residence. Holy one. So I employ you to have breakfast is dictation. In my own house, don't be deceived by her soft voice. She is a visiting dictator. Madam, now answer me. Is that true? No, sir. I'm not a visiting dictator. I'm a resident believer, worshiper, disciple, and servant. Madam, who gave you all those qualifications? <laughs> Do I need to answer every question? Oh, yes. We are from All Ventures. You hear the tone of her voice? I see. So you are the criminal company that has taken the woman of God, a holy person hostage. My friend, shut up. Do you understand the impact of the stupid things you're saying? Holy one, what is there to understand in the breed of a company that has taken a light 
a lamb like you and put under a bushel. Holy day, madam. Look, I think this woman needs to be thrown out of this place. Your greed cannot win over sincere prayers. Holy one, we have to set you free. Shut up, intruder. These people own this house and everything in it. You cannot stand them. My humility and loyalty to your divine calling will stand them, holy one. I think we should all calm down. This thing is getting too heated. What is getting too heated? You mean this small, tiny one woman can put it on the three of you? All ventures. Holy one, should I throw them out? It seems these people are really annoying you. My friend, shut up. The three of you should take this woman away. They cannot, holy one. I am protected by the kind of spirit in you. Very often you forget that you are the carrier of a great spirit and say things that you later regret in your moment of meditation. Do I meditate with you? Holy one, uh, every night over here you apologizing to the spirit in you for material statements you make during the day, so... <laughs> so you listen to my meditation? So, no, holy one, I do not listen, I hear. This, this woman is a cook in word and action. We have to get her out of here. So calm down, calm down. She could be a woman in real trouble. Yes, my sister, I'm in trouble. If this kind of strong man wants to throw a woman out of anywhere, is it not real trouble? Well, Holy One, we will retire and think of what to do. The first thing is that the freezers and refrigerators are all empty. You are still speaking. Is it not in your favor, Holy One? Well, Holy One, she will come back with provisions for the kitchen. We will take the other decisions. What other decisions? Why is your mouth always talking? Eh? Must you ask questions? Do you not know that these people are very important people? I made a mistake the first day I let you sleep in this house. Oh no, holy one. What you did was your job as a holy person. Providing for poor and homeless. Look, let's stop listening to this woman and go. There is work to be done elsewhere. Holy one, we'll be coming back. Uh, madam, please remember to come back fast with the provisions. And don't forget to add a new bottle of cooking gas. Professor, many people are complaining of your arrogance and rudeness. Are those signs of intelligence? Arrogance and rudeness are as they are perceived. I don't expect everybody to beat my level. I'm sorry if I hurt sometimes, but that should be expected from a superior being. Professor, let me answer your question because you are gradually going towards some flashy slaps. Slaps from you? No, not from me. From the union of stupid people led by me. Then, young man, you better answer my question and let me go. I don't see my body being desecrated by unclean hands. Professor, the beautiful woman you're looking for is on a long journey and may take years to return. Please, do not waste your time coming again to this place. You see how the world's resources is being wasted? An empty-headed woman going around the world and spending the people's money. Professor, if I may know, why are you looking for an empty-headed woman? What is in her head is not important to me. Beauty can be intelligence, even when there's no content. I am now in charge of this place, so don't come again. My friend, what do you really think you are? Your friend and worshipper. The all ventures people are from here. You will see what can happen to you. Holy One, do you know of Psalms 23 in your Bible? That Bible in your hand, read it. I will not read it. No problem. It says, the Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. Officer, you're back so soon. You want to throw her out immediately? Not yet, Holy One. You see, on our way home, I saw this gentleman coming here, and I have to come back to get a few things clear. So what can that be? You see, Holy One, for you to consult anyone, there are certain conditions that must be fulfilled. Have you already blessed this young man? Uh, my good friend, you cannot call me a young man. That's not the issue. You see, he came here very sad and was in need a lot of spiritual and material needs. I also complained of positions he needed in his office, but I don't know if I actually blessed him. Holy one, you prayed for him. You again? Well, officer, he came back and confessed that he had now become a new person. That he now smiles at everybody and everybody smiles back at him. Sir, you see, your mission here was to find out about our tax situation and not to be prayed for. <laughs> well, anything can happen in a holy presence. Everything has happened. See how bright your face has become. 
Do you know that smiling everywhere and with everyone can turn you into a successful politician? Yes, I know. Your face has become like a lamb. Oh, that's true. See how he's shining. Must you put your mouth in everything? But look at how his face is shining, Holy One. Well, sir, my problem is with our accounts. You have had free services here, and you have to pay for those smiles inspired by the Holy One. And how do you expect me to pay for smiles? Then how do you expect us to pay taxes? Our income is from the services we provide, and the Holy One sitting right here is one of those services. <laughs> Sir, you can pass by the head office for your beer. Why do you insist on embarrassing me in this holy presence? Well, you can see that she is not embarrassed. Do you meet her on the streets? Look at where she lives. I find this really odd. <laughs> at times, we succeed by doing odd things, like smiling with everybody everywhere. Sir, you see you have cheated the company, so you have to go and see them. Holy one, he's smiling at me. Shut up. Go pay your bills. <laughs> <laughs>